I wanted to talk about the uh, Kanye West debacle. Um, right now, he's just living in infamy every day. One thing I heard him say that I thought was uh, a little profound. Um, none of the <laughs> anti-Semitic uh, uh, shit, but he said right now he wakes up every day um, and does five things that people have historically been killed for. I thought that was an interesting way to put his uh, uh, tirades. Yeah? I mean... Yeah, everybody. Nobody, nobody disagrees with Kanye. I'm not him. Well, can, can <laughs> get, do we have a list? Skin. Do we have a list of those of the yet? things that people get killed for? He's just talking about being outspoken. Uh, in his opinion, who he's being outspoken against is dangerous. Um, he's talking about basically when he talks about the Jewish people, he's likening that to basically the powerful people in media and things like that. Okay. He also compared it to uh, the Bill Cosby situation, um, which you know I thought was kind of foolish to throw his name when he's already being shit on <laughs> it's like kind of foolish in my opinion to throw your name in with bill cosby um who pretty much most people are kind of off the bill cosby shit but he said basically everything that happened to him happened based off him wanting to buy nbc which is a conspiracy that uh at least i've heard before um that's one thing with my opinion about kanye west where some of what he says i could see how it could possibly have merit but i think a lot of it seems like kind of like talking points like he just watched too many like youtube videos you know what i'm saying it really got wrapped up in it and then he's deciding with his influence and things like that uh to propagate it through the internet and make it where it feels mainstream but a lot of the stuff is kind of like fringe ideas that certain groups have held for a long time and talked about on the internet um so either way i do want to play a little clip here for anybody that uh maybe isn't uh, up to date on the situation. Um, and I'm just going to screen record real quick. Um, yeah, so this is going to be Kanye West on the... Uh, um, damn. Damn. Yeah, I think Kanye West is tripping when he just yeah. goes with the racer shit. I mean, if, if he has a point, he should just articulate that. Well, for sure. I think that uh, a lot of whatever... Thing he's saying that may have merit as far as like um, people being screwed over through contracts in the entertainment industry. I think that's something that we've all grown up knowing to be the case. Uh, so it's a noble fight that he has, but you're attaching the noble cause that you have to something that historic, like Jewish people have historically been um, put into slavery by. Uh, hold on, let me pass their pose. I'm just trying to hook this up so we can get the audio. Um, but that's part of the uh, paranoia and why um, Jewish people as a group, like, they do not play about that shit. You know what I mean? Like, and I guess that's where some of the uh, um, some of the pushback comes from people were like, oh, you can't see what I, because Kanye said, like, this proves my point. I've lost my bank account. I've been deplatformed, things like that. Like, this only proves my point further uh, where I hear what he's saying with that. Um, but there was a time, for example, in Germany the Holocaust that we're all aware of, it didn't just start out where Hitler's rounding people up day one. It started out by dehumanizing the people that he was going to attack to the other citizens. Um, so it started out by saying like, hey, Jews run banks in that time is a lot of what was being said. Um, and like I said, dehumanizing the Jewish people. And then all of a sudden now when you're telling the other citizens that you have, like, hey, these are the people we have to get rid of. You've already painted them as bad people. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, it makes it easier. So that's where some of his talk has been, in my opinion, I agree where it's dangerous, but then some of his, his fight, I'd see how it's noble. Um, and I could see how um, only somebody to his level could have that fight. For example, Moneybag Yo can't say this shit. You know what I mean? It's over for him. You feel me? Like, he's big, but he doesn't have the platform Kanye West has. He doesn't have the capital that Kanye West has. If, according to what Kanye West says as far as, like, his money, how long it is, if he stops making money today, he's still going to be straight. You know what I mean? Like, he's still going to be able to be, be able to support himself, support his family uh, many times over. And also, that's something I want to get into in a, uh, a minute, because that was what I was talking about with Bill before we got on here. But either way, this is the uh, Pierce Morgan interview. This is uh, uh, for you, Seven, so you can kind of be uh, pulled into, you know what I mean, the fold with this. Damn. So it might not...
then I'm not going to uncensor you. I'm simply going to challenge you on what you're saying. You can, you can, I think you, you don't understand me. the pain that you've been causing with some of these comments. And I think that one in particular, I can understand. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. All right. Get into it, Pierce. Yeah, I'm going to run that back because uh, you don't hold accountability to my pain. You're being a Karen. I'm talking you about. The, I'm talking accountability I'm not a Karen, to the I'm, pain. I'm not a Karen. I'm not, I'm not a Karen. Gonna cancel you. <laughs> and I'm not so going to uncense you. I'm simply going to challenge you on what you're saying. You can, you can, I think you, you don't understand me. the pain that you've been causing with some of these comments. And I think that one in particular, I can understand. Oh my God! God forbid! God forbid! One comment mm -hmm. could cause people to feel any of the pain that my people have went through for years. Even like the blacks being ushered to the left during the civil rights movement. What, no why, one has cared why does about he, black why does people. He, okay, why no, does, no, all right. no one is. Can I, I mean, say, I agree that the racism against black people has been utterly deplorable, shameful, unacceptable, and thank God the world is beginning to move to a better place about the way what, what about, it is treated. Okay. Black what people about, like you. What, however, however, it's, one form of racism yeah, no, doesn't no, it's justify... No, almost in a better place. Well, but one you see, form of racism see, doesn't justify another. It's not a better I'm place. I'm not cutting you off. I'm finishing my sentence so you can respond. One it's form not, of racism... It's not, it's one not form of racism. racism. It is racism when you say I'm going death so for Jewish truth. people. I was in a position where I've been hurt, and this is the way I had the right to express myself. The point of this interview is for you to question me and then for me to answer and say, okay, even though the same rules are not applied to my people, if a person with a gun or drugs is pulled over and has four, three other people in the car, they're all going to jail. I'm not going to apply that to Jewish people for the sake of this conversation. Isn't that what you wanted? But you know what you did? You tried to civil rights me. You tried to pull me back to a week ago. But we're here today. There's been plenty of converse, conversations and commentary since that. This but you want me to go back to 1960. No, no, no. Here's you what want I want me to go no, back no. to seven days ago. All right, let me jump in. This man's comparing to seven days ago to 1960. Have we grown? Have we grown? Here's how we grow. Here's how we grow. I want you to reflect. No, have we grown? I'm about have to. Have we grown? I'm about, You're not in charge of my growth. You're not in charge of I'm my about growth, to Chris. Okay, like, let me, here's how let me we phrase grow. it like this. I'm about to suggest to you how you may grow if you choose to grow this way. And you, can, you can ignore no, me. You Pierce, can ignore Pierce, me. Pierce, 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 how much money are you worth? Not as much as you, sadly. Exactly. So take my advice. Maybe you'll get richer. I would love to take your business Why advice. Why would I listen to you? I, well, why do you, why do you hear <laughs> what my advice is and then work out if I'm wrong? Can we do that? In the deal? words of Chief Keefe, you are a well, broke boy. The thing is, you, you haven't given me <laughs> any credit or a moment of reflection for the comparison that I made, the brilliant, if I do say so myself, comparison <laughs> that I made that. to the cops pulling over one black person and locking I everyone up. I understand what you're saying. And my tweet having issues. I, wait a second, I wasn't done with the sentence. La, la, la. Uh, of my tweet referring to all Jewish people, I said, for the sake of this conversation, I will refer to the business people who have destroyed me and my people and my fellow creatives. But you didn't even accept that I gave you that. You tried to push me back into 1960. No, I you didn't. You tried to push me back into last week. No, I didn't. Okay, I do said, you accept that example that I gave you? I understand completely the example you gave me. I think all racism is wrong. So I, just I feel that we've grown. I would like you to reflect. If I feel you, we've grown. If do you, you feel we've if, grown? If you've now changed what you wanted to say originally, my question for you is, do you now regret saying I death gone every free day. on Jewish people. Are you sorry you said that? No. I don't think it matters. You should be. Absolutely not. You know, I will say what? I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the death con. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, he just uh, he just apologized for um, the people that were hurt for his uh, words, and he does kind of double down on that later in the interview. Um, so that gives you some context to what he's kind of talking about. Uh, not the full context, because uh, this has been going on for like a week or so. He's went on several shows uh, to plead his case, and a lot of it happened on social media initially, but then he got deplatformed and got kicked off Twitter, got kicked off Instagram. Um, deplatformed. So one thing that I wanted to touch on, this is, so best case scenario, if his, if his motivations are altruistic, um, then I think that he's doing exactly what he says, which is he's fighting for people that, um, fighting for himself and fighting for people that don't have as loud of a voice, 
Um, so I think if we're going to take him for his word and say best case scenario, I think that's what we could say it is. On the other end, and this is, Bills, this, I want to get you in on this, man, because this is what kind of what you were talking about with as far as his motivation. I think this is just as likely to be the case, which I think he could be trying to make himself so um, untouchable in the short term that he's able to take over full rights for his uh, image. So currently Adidas, I think it is, or no Nike, he's not in business with Nike, but Nike still makes Yeezys or sells Yeezys. Um, Adidas, same thing. He wants to separate from them. Gap, same thing. And they, they want to continue to sell those products um, that they've licensed or they've, or they've, or they own. Um, And they will like Nike. I think he's, I want to say in one of these interviews, he said that, Yeezys are 60% or no, that might've been Adidas, but one of them, one of the major retailers, he said that he's responsible for like 60 to 70% of the online sales, uh, for Adidas. Okay. Um, so in that case, I think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to separate himself so much to where he still has, if all those people go away and you see it through the support that he has gotten, which he has gotten some support specifically from his fan base, which is cult-like in a lot of cases um if he's able to get those rights and be the sole person that's selling yeezys and selling his clothing brand and so on and so forth all of that um and able to take get all the profits from it i think in the long run he benefits from it i think that's his goal to be honest yeah yeah yeah. so i mean even without that he's already uh, i think he said in one of those interviews that he has 150 million dollars as far as like liquid in his account um and then all of the other things that he has ownership in or whatever is what makes him a billionaire. Um, but, yeah, for me personally, yeah. I'm just saying, isn't that the deal with most billionaires? They got, like, fucking portfolio that makes them the billionaire, not, like, cash. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying that's, the, I'm not saying that's a, like, a bad thing or anything. I'm just saying that's information that he, he did say in the interview. Um, that is true. But, uh, but, yeah, so I think that is honestly, at least that's a huge part of it. And a lot of what he has talked about and what he started to frame it as to get away from the Jewish thing is the business aspect. You think, like I said earlier, of him acting crazy to, like, for them to terminate the contract so, like, he doesn't have to fucking buy out or, like, get taxed or some shit. It's just like they're like, yo, you're, you're just crazy. We're done dealing with you. Figure it out.